justify content we want to set it to space between so we're going to use the space between keyword and let's see what is how it's going to look like so this is the space between so this is how this is going to look like we are in the space between keyword and let me zoom out a bit let's see what is happening okay so we'll go ahead use the space between and then also let's use the align item center let's try to align everything to the center so let's say the keyword align items and then we use the center keyword okay let's also load this and see okay so this appeared to be exactly in the center and i'm going to add some few padding to this let me add a pattern of 20 pages I'm going to add a pattern of 20 pieces to this. Pattern of 20 pieces. I'm going to set this to 20 pieces. And I want to bring a horizontal line below what I have now. So I want to sign a horizontal line below the border. So I'm going to say border bottom. So I will say border bottom. Border button, I'm going to say two pixels solid and I'm going to give it a gray color. So, gray color. So, let's load this. So, notice I have a gray color below my header now. That's exactly what I'm expecting. So, let's go ahead and then we cannot target our link. Notice we've created a link over within my header. It's never just your dream. It's never just your hustle. It's never just. Uh, we have. I've set the new uh, that is unordered list to main link. So let's target that and also do formatting to that. So remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get update anytime we upload new content. So what I'm going to do is that to say because this is a class. Notice that we have assigned a header the url as a class so to call a class we use a dot main class we use a dot keyword so we can say main main link this way and we we'll go ahead and say we want to first use list star we want to display to none list star let's say what none and it remove that bulletin over here so list star we say what none okay so that's as expected we want to also target the li that's the list items and display them in side by side so we can use the inline block we can go ahead and say let's first target the main link and we target the li in there and we say what display let's call it inline block so we use the inline so that we display everything side by side we do it this way and you see what is happening now we are trying to display this line by line we are actually going to move this button to the far right okay we are actually going to list the button to the far right so let me come down here uh, within the header and we have this button down here and let me copy this button let me bring it after outside the nav bar so this should come within the header but outside the nav bar this way Okay, and I think this should be working. It should go to the side as expected. Exactly. That's what we want. Now we've actually created everything. We're going to go ahead and else what we need to do next. All we need to do next is to target add some few padding. Let's add some few padding. Pattern about 20 pesos. Okay. The padding we're going to add zero. Zero top and bottom and then 20 pixels 20 pixels left and right to our airline so we're going to space side by side zero at the top and bottom and then 20 side by side okay so this is what we have so far as you can see we are gradually building our header and this is the header we want to use for every page and we're going to be straightforward we are on our index page so far, but we've used the include statement. 
if I actually use the include statement to include this header on our index page and it's doing the magic for us so every changes you are applying to this header is going to also apply to the index page so anywhere so what is going to happen right now what is going to happen I'm going to repeat this same code I'm going to copy this code go to my about page paste it here I'm going to paste it here go to my contact page and also paste it here as simple as that and if I go to my about page you notice within the URL I'm on my about page I still have my header if I go to what my contact page I'm now on my contact page and I still have my unique header so this is a very simple and unique way in which you can build what a header and then it will work for you we are going to do the same thing to the footer as well so before that let's finish working our head I want to transform all this into caps so let's go ahead and continue the editing to our header so we have the airline display we added some padding so now let's add some airline let's target let's go to our CSS the same process now we want to target the main link again use the airline and the link item okay so this we want to transform let's say text transform I want the text transform keyword and set everything towards upper that is what I want and if I load this notice that everything has uh, everything has been transformed to upper case so let's also focus and then let's leave it no, right now let's leave it this way and we can also do some editing to our button okay so let's call our button and then do some free formatting so i've called the button and the first thing i want to do is to add some padding to it so i want to add a padding of say i want to add a padding of I want to give the pattern of 9 pixels at the top and bottom and 25 left and right. So let's see that it will have some bit of space to our button to look better now. So our button is now looking better. Let's also remove, uh, let's try to also remove the border and assign our own color to it. So let's see border, let's say we want to set it to none. I'm going to remove the border now and also give it a border radius. So let's say border radius and let's say 50 pixels. Okay, so we're going to set this to 50 pixels. Let me type my pixels uh, 50 well and let me just load this. Okay, so I think this is actually looking well, but we want us to actually change the cursor anytime we point our our cursor this will change to a, to a pointed finger okay so let's go back and yes use the keyword cursor it's a cursor cursor and we set it to a pointer okay okay we set this to pointer and this time around if i load my page and i go back here if i load my page and i go back here and notice that it's now shown as a pointer we can easily add a color to it so let me just come down here and and see background color let me give the background color uh, background color and let me just give it a bit of cyan i want to give it a background color of cyan so this is going to be the background color of my button 